Hey there. So I've made modifications uh, to the uh, router lift. I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. I've uh, kept the bracket that's holding the threaded rod the same. What I ended up doing was just adding a little guide down here that keeps, still lets this thing move around a little bit, but keeps it from going up and down very, uh, very close to where the uh, the endpoint is, and that's working out pretty well. So I'm not getting any horizontal movement. Uh, uh, because of the, the twist in here. The other place I was getting uh, uh, a problem, uh, where, you know, extra motion of the sled was from this part in here. It was it was flexing up and down. It was, it was, it was thinner than what I have now and it had uh, just a single point of contact. So, you know, I beat that up, added this extra piece in here uh, and attached it with the uh, screws on the top and the bottom. So that takes away any of the twist. So that stiffened that up quite a bit. Um, and the last bit, uh, which I, well, I really haven't changed the, the design too much, but um, it's the anti-backlash uh, mechanism I have in here. There's basically two of these uh, little brass nuts, one in here, uh, one in here, I just epoxied them in there. And uh, the, the way, uh, the, the concept here is that I've got, um, you know, the, the nut riding on the the threaded rod and one side is going to be touching but because of the, the tolerances there's going to be a gap right and that's where our backlash comes in where the the nut can move up and down on the threaded rod because of the the, the tolerances they're, they're loose right but the uh, the way this is designed to work is that the bottom nut and and threaded rod are going to stay tight like this but on the top uh, the top nut. What I do is I turn it a little bit, and that absorbs the uh, any of that gap, right? So that the top nut is basically ho holding it down, and the bottom nut is holding it up. Um, and it does that because I can just kind of like tune it in and get it to just that right sort of uh, right sort of distance. It I don't actually have to tighten them down to uh, increase the friction on this. Um, and I still I still get rid of that that play and backlash. So yeah, overall pretty happy with how uh, that's gone together. And I'll put the uh, uh, rider in and uh, show it in action. All right, and it moves pretty easily just uh, just by hand. But uh, I'm, I'm actually thinking of uh, motorizing it in the the final final lift so it can move up and down fairly quickly. So anyway, yeah. so there it is. Um, hopefully, I will have it all installed and working as a uh, in the router table uh, soon. All right, cheers.